Hello champions and future champions, hello chess mod family. Jim Gabuzian is here with you and we are beginning our daily lesson. Today we are going to cover a very exciting topic which is called Greco's mate. It's a very common method of checkmating. The checkmate is named after the famous Italian checkmate catalogue Gioacchino Greco. It works when we are using the bishop to restrict opponent king and checkmating with our queen or the rook from the edge of the board or some other conditions like this. This is the topic and in this position white is mating with rook h1. Let's go to the next position to make it little more complicated. Now we have very similar to the previous one structure of a position. Can you pause the video guys and find the checkmate for white? So again, it's very simple, we are beginning with bishop c4 check, king h8, throwing opponent's king to the right square and now with knight g6, pawn takes, checkmating with rook h1 move. Let's go ahead to see the next one. This is a position taken from a real game played very very long time ago at the 1859. It's black to move, you can pause the video and try to figure out how to win this for black. Obviously, we are beginning with our knight g3 move. Pawn takes. Now, if we are playing h5, trying to open up the h file for the rook, it's not going to be working. First of all, white can try to take. Also, there is going to be g5 move. So, we are playing logical queen g5, bringing queen into the game, now threatening queen h6 checkmate. Only way to prevent it is rook a5. And the thing is now, if we go queen h6, white will play rook h5, preventing the mate. So, after rook f5, now we are already playing with h5. The idea is just to take on g4 and checkmate. For example, if white is deciding to take the queen, we are just mating with h takes g4, rook h5 and rook h5 Greco's mate again is happening. Or if after h5 white is taking g takes h5, we are just taking the rook and having just a winning position. Let's now go ahead guys to see our next example. Here we have a very messy situation on the board. Black is missing a rook, many pieces are under attack and it's black to move. You can pause the video guys and try to find the continuation here. Black is playing very strong knight e2 check. The idea is that after king h1 we play bishop takes e3. So knight takes the queen. Otherwise, white will be left without the queen. And we're just mating knight g3. Pawn takes and h takes g6 check. Only with the rook and the bishop we're conducting this beautiful checkmate. And at the beginning, if after knight e2 check white is trying to play king f2, it's not working as well since now we're taking bishop e3 with a check. So later on black will be left with a lot of extra material. And this is winning again. Let's go ahead to see the next example. Here we have a situation when black is trying to attack and is also having a bishop pair. This example is very beautiful and very practical by the way. So it's black to move in this position. If we now try to take queen h2, king takes and rook h6, white queen will cover the checkmate from the h3 square, so it's not the case. For this reason, I offer you guys to pause the video and think how to win this position for black. We need to get rid of this queen at this square, so we are trying to distract it and playing bishop b7. Very strong move, with a tempo we are trying to remove the queen. If queen goes back any square or is just taking, which is the same, black is checkmating queen h2. King h2 and rook h6, very beautiful checkmate. This time black is also using the support of pawn on f4 to cover g3 square. I hope you like this version of Greco's mate guys and let's now go ahead to see the next position. Here again, it's black to move, black is trying to attack. Your goal is very simple and I'm sure you know it. Pause the video guys and try to figure it out. We're beginning with Knight g3 check, pawn takes. If we now try to play rook h4, takes and queen h4, it's not working since white has queen h4. Queen on e1 is controlling this square. For this reason, after knight g3 and pawn takes, we are playing with 
Rook takes f1, distracting this queen. Queen f1, and then now we can be checkmating either with the rook or with queen h4 move. After it takes, making Greco's rook h4 checkmate again. Let's go ahead to see the next position. Their champions now were switching to the white color and it's white to move. Your goal is again and again the same. White to move and win. Pause the video and try to figure it out. Here white is playing with knight g6 check, logically opening the h file. But the thing is that after h takes g6, if we now play rook h1, black has bishop h6 move which is covering from all the threats and black can be surviving this. So for this reason after h takes g6 we are playing with queen g5 and the tricky idea is that after f takes g5 and rook h1, knight h6 is not covering the king since we are able to play rook takes h6 checkmate as we are having a bishop on c3 which is spinning this pawn. So with this very beautiful checkmate white is winning. After queen g5 if black is trying to play differently going some knight h6 we can be playing rook h1 and nothing is being changed so same rook takes h6 is coming. Black has to play king h7 but after a queen goes back white obtained a great advantage with the bishop pair opened h file and will be having a very strong attack so with simple tactic white is obtaining a huge positional advantage or otherwise making Greco's checkmate. Let's go ahead to see the next example. It's black to move in this position guys and your goal is the same. You can pause the video and try to find the winning continuation. If here you are trying to play rook f1, in order after rook f1 play queen b3 and if takes make rook a6 checkmate. It's a huge mistake and now white is having queen f2 move. The thing is that if we play now rook a6, white is going to be winning with queen f7 check, king a8 and queen e8, so mating on the next move. For this reason, after queen f2 we have to play queen a4, queen f7 check, king h8 and again with rook c1 move white is obtaining a huge advantage. For this reason, the beginning rook f1 move is not a good one and we are playing much smarter, queen takes b3, sacrificing the queen and after a takes b3, you will tell me, now this square is covered. That's right. The only move is rook takes f1. Now if rook takes f1, we are checkmating. And here if queen is going to e2, trying to cover this square, we have a very strong move, which is rook to f2. Now we are going to win the queen and again checkmate. The thing is, queen has no any square on this diagonal, so rook h6 move is gonna be a checkmate. With this very beautiful tactical idea, black is getting a winning position. Let's now go ahead guys to the next position which will be the test for you in this topic. Here it's white to move and you can be sharing guys your thoughts and ideas how to make Greco's mate in this position in the comments section below. Cem Gabuzian was here with you. Thank you for your subscriptions, likes and sharing this video with your friends. We appreciate it a lot. See you next time during our next daily lessons.